M0FXP Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Thought we have to show these together. So on the left, you've got the Zygu X6100. Definitely one of my favorites. And that's a radio, it's a tuner. That is a proper transceiver, 10 watts, has a BNC input there. Now the GSOC unit, which plugs into the G90, that, believe it or not, is just a display. Now have a listen. So we turn up. Now, the 6100 does sound very good with an external speaker. It really does. So you can hear someone chatting there. So let's turn that down. We'll turn up the GSOC. The GSOC has a built-in speaker. It can control the tuner as well. It's touch screen. I can fit a mat, you know, have a mouse and select on the on the screen. Good old friendly chat there. And if we tune. Those people are coming through strong, aren't they? Now, with the new X6200, I notice they've got a wet, they've removed this again now, this audio scope. So let's turn up the Zygu X6100. You see, there's not really loads of activity. 7160. I mean, I still say that the X6100 is one of the best budget HF radios out there. I know people talk about bugs and all that, but no, it just works great and the tuner works great. And if you want to make QRP contacts, you'll do it no problem with the X6100. Now, let's listen to the same one, 7160. Turn it up. Got a bit of background hiss there. You've got filters here. If I move away, or oh, someone else there, he's quite busy. Move away again. Try the tuner. You can see it. You know, it's working there. Move the other one, 7170. Turn this down. Volume squelch. And like I said, with an external speaker, that will sound excellent. You've even got a PTT here built into the device. They both decode RTTY, pretty sure CW and BPSK. The decode screen looks like this. On this one, let's find the right, I haven't done it for a while. It's app, then modem. That's your decode screen. Let's turn it down, turn back that up. So, both, both these devices are, have got, you know, have, have many people criticising them. The X6100 mainly because of the, of the, the um, you know, the signals when, even, when there's not even an antenna connected. Birdies, as they call it. The thing about the GSOC, they brought it out. The firmware was quite bad with the first release. And many of many people reviewed it, and they were very unhappy. And I understand that completely. It's, you know, it's not a cheap device. There's your little X there. The price has come down a lot on this. 
it's, it's decreased by about a third now. It's still not perfect, but if you want to use, you know, your Zygu with a big screen and you want to have some HF contacts, that's your Zygu. And don't forget the fact that this, the Zygu has such a small screen and, it's, and the, the head unit is removable is a big part of its appeal, yeah? So I'm not knocking that at all. But if every now and again, you, you and if you really like your Zygu, it's 20 watt radio, and you, and, but you fancy using it with a big screen, then this is gonna, it's gonna work for you. You can, you know, you can transmit, you can tune, you can decode. I do need to test the decode, but other reviews have said that the decoder does work. But you've got the, you know, this nice thing, and this is a big, heavy, solid unit. If I wanna start, you know, picking at this device, trying to find things that don't work, trying to find things that aren't perfect, I'm sure I'll find plenty, yeah? But if I just wanna to chat to this person here, and my, and my antenna is good, you need a good antenna, let's turn it down and the other one up. You can see the difference, yeah? If I want to chat to that person, and I've got a good antenna, and I've, you know, I've tuned my antenna to make sure I'm not going to damage my, my actual G90, it's going to work. I'll be able to call this person, he'll reply to me, I'll have a contact, it'll go in the log. And that's how I look at these devices, and that is, do they do the job that we want them to do, which is contacts on HF? Yes, they do. Now, is this one going to be perfect when using CW? Maybe not, yeah? It needs to be tested by... And you can tap this like that, uh, change January, the step. VFO A, VFO B. SW scan. Quite busy tonight. SW scan is doing it now. And then you can exit. You've got an equalizer. Keep going back to that strong station, don't we? That's your equalizer. I haven't really seen it working, to be honest, but you have to enable it. I don't really know how to use it. On and off. It's on now. And then back to your scope. And you can change the colours. You know, some people might think, well, changing the colours, you know, isn't an important feature. But, you know, it's a colour screen. So, why not? Um... RX TX there, we haven't done any memory, we'll do a separate video of storing memories. See the way it says G90 online, and when you put in the actual cat lead, it actually says cat online. So there is something happening with the cat, I'm not really sure what, there is something happening with the cat. When you connect the, the cat lead from the, let me think now, from the back of the G90 to this, it says cat. So more to learn on that. You've got functions here. RTTY, power, hold it, RF gain, which I like quite high on this, otherwise it's not very loud, but we don't use the preamp, tuner, you've seen that, compression, equalizer transmit, that's, push, that's just alternating the filter and you know you've got filters here I think that's enough for now and you can send messages on this one I don't think you can do that on the on the G90 stroke GSOC thanks for watching my channel do I have an opinion on that not really I, like I said before you know if I want to have a contact and I want a big screen it's going to do the job for me and I can tune. That to me is the basics of these sets. Bye for now, 73.